What's up everyone, I am Ruth from Stilio Apps and in this video I will take you through using the newest reconvert feature, the product recommendations widget. This widget allows you to add a scrollable product recommendations section to your thank you page to give your customers recommendations about products that they might be interested in, maybe based on the products that they have already purchased and maybe just your general best sellers, whatever you want, it is really up to you. So we're gonna jump right in to the tutorial and during the video, I will use the reconvert page builder. If you're not sure how to get to the page builder or how to use the app, I'm gonna link below our onboarding video so you can learn a little bit more. I will be adding the widget to the left area. So I'm gonna just choose left area, add a section. And when I scroll down, I can see the product recommendations. I'm gonna add this. And as you can see, I already have it here in my thank you page. And now we're gonna go through all the settings that I can choose from. First thing we need to do is choose what products to display. We have three options here. The first is to choose a specific collection. When I choose a specific collection, I also need to specify what the collection is. So let's say I'm choosing the Air Bonsai collection. You can already see here in the page builder that this is the collection that is going to be displayed. These are the products that will be displayed on the thank you page, no matter what the customer purchased. It is a static product recommendations widget if you're using a specific collection. The second option you can choose is the rebuy recommendations. This is a dynamic recommendations option, which is why you will not see specific products here because we actually build the products specifically to each thank you page based on the products already in cart. Rebuy is a third party app for Shopify that you can install on your store and it has advanced AI options to actually send specific recommendations for your customers based on their learning of customer trends and shopping trends in your store. If the app is already installed in your store, you don't need to do anything other than just click this button. But if you don't have Rebuy installed yet, you actually will have an install button and you can use that to actually install and activate the integration with them. The third option and what we're actually going to use in this video is the Shopify recommendations. This is again a dynamic recommendation option. So we're not going to see any products here, but the Shopify recommendations are a little less smart than the Rebuy ones. You basically just get recommendations based on the collections that the products are in. But the good thing about it is that you don't need any third party app. So it's really up to you. You have these three options, just choose which one of them you want to use. The next setting we are going to set is to choose a loader text. Now, since we are using dynamic recommendations here, sometimes the widget can take a few seconds to load. And during this time, you can choose whatever you want to say nothing or just want to say, wait a few seconds, or if you want to give your own customized message to your customers. So I actually chose to show a bit of a unique message for me. Uh, let's say you want to show something that is specific to your brand with your own brand's tone of voice. You can do that here and we're only going to see that once we go to an actual thank you page. Let's move on to the next uh, setting that you can set. The next setting is title. This is the title of the entire widget. Now, if you're using a specific collection, then the default title here would be the collection title. But since we're using dynamic recommendations here, this is the default title. You can change it out if you want. And I'm just going to make it a little bigger and bold. That's it. Looks much better if you ask me. Now to the next setting. These are some extra display settings that can control how the entire widget actually looks. So first of all, you have the option to show or not show product vendors. By default, vendors are shown here, but I'm gonna actually cancel that. The next one is whatever or not you want to show prices in the drop down. If your product has more than one variant, the customers will have a drop down here where they can actually choose what variant they want to buy. When they click on a variant, it takes them directly to the checkout. 
Now you can choose whatever or not you want to show prices for the variants in this drop down. If your product has different prices for different variants, let's say because of weight or size or quantity, then you might want to show this so the customers know exactly what the price that they are going to pay is. Next is the layout. This setting controls exactly how many products you're going to show and how many scores your customer will have. So you can show one to three products in a row. I'm actually going to choose three, which looks like this. And you can choose the number of products overall that you want to show. So I'm going to choose as many as possible, which is 60. The next section is the discount, because you know we always give you the option to add a discount for your customers on the thank you page. It is the key to a successful upsell. Now, in the discount, you have two options. You can use a pre-made discount or an automatic one. Please note that if you use a pre-made discount, you can't use our two steps checkout solution, which allows you to make the checkout process so much shorter with the post-purchase upsell. So I would always recommend using the automatic discount. And when you use the automatic discount, another good thing about it is that we manage everything for you. We manage the discount for you and you don't need to worry about anything else. You can choose from four types of discounts. You can give free shipping, a fixed amount per unit, a percentage discount, and apply a discount once for the entire order. This is a fixed amount discount, and no matter how many products are in the cart, it would stay the same amount. I'm going to choose percentage. I generally always prefer percentage, but even more so when we're talking about dynamic recommendations and I don't know what the product price is going to be. Next, you can choose the value of the discount. I'm going to give 30% off, and you can limit this discount to products that are above a certain price. Now, when you're using a discount, you don't really need that because, I'm sorry, when you're using a percentage discount, you don't really need that. But just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to choose to only show the discount for products over $45. And the last thing about discount is that you can choose whatever you, or not you want to also add a free shipping to the discount. And I'm going to check that. Because if the customer purchased something directly after uh, he made already another purchase, then I don't want to charge him for shipping twice because I'm going to ship everything together. Now for pricing. We have three options for you to show your customers when it comes to pricing. Let's talk about the three different prices that we have here on the thank you page. The first is the original price from Shopify which is the original compared to price before any discount on the product. The second is the final price on Shopify. So if you have a discount on Shopify for this product, this will be your um, final price. And the third price that you can show here is actually the price after discount. So after the coupon code that you are giving your customer on the thank you page, you can actually show him the final, final price after discount. So these are the three options that you have here. You can show the original compared to price and the original price after discount. This is the same price that you will see for the product in Shopify. It doesn't take into account any discount that you're giving on the thank you page. The second is to show the original compared to price and the price including the thank you page discount. This one will show the biggest difference since you are not um, actually showing any of the in-between prices of the discounts in Shopify. And the final one would be the original price. So the price in Shopify after discount and a price including the thank you page discount. I'm actually going to choose this. What you need to note is that no matter which one of these you choose, we actually calculate the discount based on the original price in Shopify, not the compared to price, but the actual original price after the Shopify discount. You can change the colors here, but I'm going to leave them black. And now for the quick view settings. The quick view is this little button that you see here whenever I am standing on a product. And if I click this, it's going to pop up here a product description page with all of the images, all of the variants and the description and a quantity picker. 
the customer can actually buy the product directly from here without going back to the store, to the product page. So I can choose a few things. I can choose what the quantity picker, uh, first of all, I can choose whatever or not to show this button, the quick view button. I can choose the quantity picker text and I can choose the button text, the quick view button text. Now I'm gonna leave everything as is, except for the button color. I'm gonna change it to fit the rest of the colors in my store. Okay, and as you can see now, this is the same green that I have in the rest of my store. Now when I scroll down, I have the shop now button, which is this button here. Again, you can control the text and the colors. I'm just going to make it the same green. This already looks better. Now for the view all. The view all button is the last button here that the customer can click to see everything in the collection page. When you're using a specific collection in this widget, the view button will simply take the customer to this specific collection. But since here we're not actually using a specific collection and we don't have a collection page, you can specify a specific collection that you want to take the customers to. The default is to take the customers to all of your products, but you can again decide a specific collection that you want to use and you can choose whatever or not to show this button and what you want the button text to be. Again, I'm just going to change the color here. This is what the widget would look like. Now let's save it and go see it in a real life thank you page. First of all, you can see here the loading text. And now that reconvert is all up, let's see the actual widget. So this is the widget with the recommendations um, related to the product that this customer actually purchased. I can click the quick view button to actually get a quick view of the widget and buy it from here. I'm sorry, of the product, not the widget. And you can see here the price and the price after discount for each one of them. And as you remember, I specified that the discount will only apply for products over $45. So for products with less, with a price lower than 45, I can actually see that I don't have any discount. Now let's take this product that has a few variants. If I click it, I can actually see the differences in prices between variants. Let's click this variant. And I'm directed to this page that already has all of my info when it comes to shipping and my email and everything. And all I need to do is add my payment method down here and complete the purchase. This is the product recommendations widget. It is super valuable to add to your thank you page because this widget can really get customers to just be interested in buying some more and they can scroll between the products that they are interested in straight there on the thank you page. And if they want, they can go back to the store and buy some more. The thank you page is the perfect place to upsell like that to your customers because you can actually get them back to the store before they even left. While Reconvert offers a lot of upsell options, I really think that this is one of the best one. And if you need to give up another upsell to use this one, I would definitely do that. If you've tried the widget, if you have any questions or suggestions or want to share your experience using it and the conversion that it got you, share it with us down below in the comments. We would love to hear it. This is it for today. Have a great day and have fun optimizing your conversion and retention rates.